Hi folks, Elaine here. I've got the Stamping Bella uh, Fall 2017 uh, release to share with you. I can show you all of the stamps and their coordinating cut it out dies and some of the card samples that I've already made using them. Uh, so let's get started. Firstly, there's a fab new sentiment set, the Fall slash Halloween sentiments with some really nice sentiment stamps there there's a few Halloween ones I really love these pennant banner style ones that Emily has been doing lately there was one in this style in the summer sentiment set just a really nice set of sentiments for all your cards then there's another new backdrop stamp, the Fall Backdrop, which works really nicely with the Littles and Little Bit stamps. There's now a difference. Since the summer release, uh, Emily has rethought the Littles collection and now we have Littles and Little Bits. The Little Bits are the full sets with separate images and um, yeah, separate characters and accessory images and the little bit, uh, the littles rather, are completed scenes for those of you who don't, who prefer not to um, die cut and assemble scenes or stamp and mask scenes so you can have either or or both. Here's the first one. This is the Little Bits Fall Collection, Fall Fruit. I think this is my favourite because hedgy, so cute. Just a really nice little set of stamps. And there's a coordinating cut it out die set available for those, which of course is pretty handy. Here's the card I created using the full backdrop along with character and one of the toadstool stamps from the full fruit set. And the sentiment I used on this one actually comes from an older stamp set, the Tiny Towny Autumn Loves Autumn set, which was released last year. And I stamped the sentiment and cut it up. This is another card created with the Fall Fruit set. This is one of my favourite things to do with the accessory stamps and smaller character images is to stamp them repeatedly on a background and colour them in. The next set is Little Bits Fall Collection Nature, this adorable little fox, pile of leaves, tree branch and some individual leaves together with a die set for those. Then we have the Littles Fall Collection Apple Picking. It's just adorable. And there is the card that I made with her. As you can see, she's a nice size, not too big, not too small. love this one. I have a thing about colouring pumpkins at this time of year. The Littles Fall Collection Pumpkin Friends with a character from Fall Fruits, the hedgehog and the little fox and some pumpkins. If you just wanted to get the uh, Fall Fruit if you wanted to get the Little Bits Fall Fruit and the Fall Nature Collection stamps, 
stamp sets, uh, you could recreate something similar to this using the set of pumpkins that was released last year and stamping and masking or die cutting and assembling the scene. And this is the cut it out die for that one. Here's the card that I created. And this one is playing in the leaves using the leaf pile from the Full Nature Little Bit set and the girl from the Full Fruits collection set. You've got a few individual leaves. And and there's the cut it out die set for that one. And here's the card I created. Uh, all of these cards are featuring the Copic coloured images that I uh, coloured for the website and product packaging. And I'm uploading, I'm still uploading the videos at the moment, but I have colouring videos for all of these. And quite a few of them have already been uploaded. So if you'd like to see how I coloured them, you can watch those colouring videos here on YouTube. Another favourite, because I have a serious thing about hedgies. <laughs> and this is the Littles collection, Hedgie and Foxy. And they come with the individual leaf stamp. And there's the cut it out die set. Here's the card that I created with them. And here's my absolute favourite of the autumn littles. Hedgy and his acorns. Not only do I have a thing for hedgies, I also have a thing for toadstools. So... I am absolutely in love with this stamp and there's the cut it out die set this is the card that I made with Hedgie and his acorns for the release and another card I created this time coloured with coloured pencils instead of Copic markers and I used the larger toadstools from the Fall Fruit Little Bits collection set to create the background next we have um, some new tiny townies this is the autumn themed tiny townie, Layla Loves Leaves, and she comes with a coordinating, well, she has available a coordinating cut it out die set, which cuts both her and the individual leaf stamps. I haven't yet managed to make a card with her, but I've got one planned for very soon. The next are new Tiny Towny Garden Girls. This one is Tiny Towny Chrysanthemum. Isn't she gorgeous? So much fun to colour. And of course there is a coordinating cut it out die available. I will insert the photo of um, the card that I created with her here, as I've already sent it to someone. Uh, the next one is Tiny Towny Garden Girl Morning Glory. Another beautiful garden girl and the coordinating cut it out die. And here's the card that I created with her. This one is Tiny Towny Garden Girl Marigold. 
And there's the cut it out die. And here's the card that I created. Our final tiny towny for this release is Halloween themed and I think she may just have to be my favourite. I'm quite partial to a witchy stamp. This is Tiny Towny Hattie Loves Halloween. She's got her little kitty there on the broomstick with her. And there's the cut it out die. And here's the card that I created with her. And as with everything, there is a Copic colouring video on my channel available for her. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I'm currently working on colouring Little Hattie using uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. And here's the work in progress. Now onto the rest of the Halloween stamps. These are definitely my favourites. This one is the Little Bits Halloween Collection Haunted House, which is just fantastic. And there's a cut it out die available for that one. Now this one is perfect to use as a backdrop um, for any of your character stamps or just on its own. And we also have a Littles full scene for this one. This is the Haunted House full scene. I absolutely love this. I had the most fun colouring this. And you'll be seeing these little characters in larger versions shortly. It comes with an adorable little bat, which is separate from the house. And the die set which it cuts both the house and also a separate little die for the bat. And here's the card that I created with this one. You can see the glossy accents on, the win on some of the windows. And a little bit of shimmer on the witch's hat. Again, there is a colouring video on my channel for this one. And the sentiment is from the full sentiment set. We've got more littles and little bits. This is a really useful little bits haunted house outdoor decor set which has got an adorable little spider. The bat, which you saw in the Haunted House full scene set, but this one is a little bit bigger. And of course, coordinating cut it out die set. Here's that little mummy from the Haunted House full scene, this time with the tombstone. And as you can see, he's somewhat bigger in this one. And there's the cutter out die. Here's the little card that I created for the release. And here's that mummy again, this time with his friends Witchy and Frankie. Just love it. It's hilarious. This one is a little stamp, so the trio come as one complete stamp, as a little lineup. And just to compare, he's a fairly similar size to the one on Mummy and the Tombstone. There's the cutter out die, which cuts all three of them as a group. And here's the card that I created with this trio.
Now we have uh, the Littles pumpkin with a witchy on top. That adorable little cat sitting on top of the pumpkin stack. There's a die for that one. And here's the card that I created. There's a little bit of sparkle from Wink of Stella on her hat and cloak. And here's the Mummy and Frankie again, this time with a little ghosty pal. These ones are little bits, so they are individual. And the die set cuts them all out individually. And here's the card I created for this one. I've got a bit of a thing for the black glitter cardstock at the moment. It's perfect for Halloween cards. And here's those little witchies again, which as you can see, are the same as these. However, they're a little bit set, so they are separate. And the sizing is slightly different. They're slightly, slightly larger. And there is a cut it out die set that cuts them individually. And I've got two cards for this one. The first one that I made for the release. And then another one that I made for a Marker Geek Monday showing how to use uh, background stencils to create some interesting backgrounds. This is with Distress Oxides and I coloured the image with pencils and added some shading to the stencil trees. And now we're on to the new squidgies. We've got some adorable new squidgies. This is Squidgy Pumpkin Trio. Ridiculous. <laughs> so cute. Those come as three separate so you can create your own scenes with them or use them individually. Cut it out die set. And here's the card that I made for the release just using the three as one lineup and a sentiment from the Fallen Halloween sentiment set. And this is the Squidgy Dino Trick or Treater. He's adorable. I haven't yet managed to put him on a card, but I will do so before Halloween arrives. Cut it out die set. And my favorite, the Squidgy Witch Trick or Treater who is just the cutest. Just look at that. Love that hat and her crazy hair. Cut it out die. And this is the card that I made with her. Again, I made this for the same Mark of Geek Monday post that I used the Littles Witchies on. And this one again is a stenciled background. I coloured her with Copics again and I also shaded the trees with Copics. And again the sentiment is from the fall or Halloween, fall and Halloween sentiment set. And then we have an adorable little squidgy ghost trick or treater. Cut it out die. And you'll see the card with him on in a second. We also have the adorable Squidgy Bat and Cat. I love this bat. With his little fangs. So fun. And there you go. The cutter out die set. And here's the card that I made using the Squidgy Witch, the Squidgy Ghost, and the Squidgy Bat and Cat and the little pumpkin from the Haunted House outdoor decor set. I think this might be my favorite card from the cards I created for the release. And that's it. 
that's the entire fall 2017 release for you. I hope you've enjoyed checking it out with me and maybe got some ideas for stamps that you'd like to pick up um, and what you could do with them. Um, don't forget to check out my colouring videos here on this channel and join me over on my Marker Geek blog, markergeek.com, or over on the Stamping Bella blog uh, where I do weekly um, tutorials and tip posts on Marker Geek Monday and also Stamp It Saturday. Uh, thank you for joining me. Catch you soon.